Ash head digital enterprise, digital factory division, Siemens. He joined Siemens India in 1986 and has held responsible positions in various functions, starting with Siemens Automation Factory at Nasik near Mumbai. Here he held various positions in product strategy group, quality assurance, and logistics. He moved to the Siemens India headquarters in Mumbai, and from 1999 onwards, he has held key positions in marketing and promotion, product management, head of automation solution business, All India head of vertical F&B, head business development, automation products and systems for India and Bangladesh, and head of factory automation digital factory. He holds a BE in electronics and communication. Please welcome Samir on stage. So good morning, everybody. You can hear me, audio? Yeah. So first of all, I would like to thank uh, ARC for giving me an opportunity to present the Siemens view on digitalization and how it can uh, help uh, manufacturing enterprises to address their challenges. Digitalization changes everything. We have already seen from our previous speakers the impact of what the digitalization is creating in the marketplace. We are already seeing also the way we keep ourselves informed, the way we travel, the way we buy things, the way we want our products to be delivered. All these have also changed quite a lot because of digitalization. One important aspect of digitalization is that it has a characteristic of disrupting markets. And that is one of the key aspects which also creates pressure to the enterprises, but also opens up opportunities if done in the right way. So you would see examples of digitalization around us. You know, you have seen the, how market has moved from CD or a music store to streaming of music. So here you can select any music you want to hear and uh, at that instant of time. So there are no more any physical discs which are available today. You also look at some of the examples like a bookstore which has moved your libraries or the bookstores have moved to e-books, which are available on mobiles and your tablets. So you have such examples, even, even to the extent of, uh, of calling for a taxi. Now you have apps which are available whereby you can call a taxi through the fleet cabs which are available today. So digitalization has been creating a lot of impact. And this is what also brings about a lot of disruption in the market. And let us see what are the key address, uh, what are the key challenges which a manufacturing industry faces and how we address it through other digital enterprise uh, approach. My presentation is more confined to the discrete industry and that is why this will be more of that and uh, I will cover the challenges, what Siemens offers to address these challenges and then end with the IoT where Siemens is, some of the speakers have already talked about is the MindSphere which is a key enabler to the whole aspect of digitalization. So looking at the key challenges, one is speed. Now any manufacturing enterprise is, you know, has to look at speed or reduce time to market. Here your consumers, due to the fast changing consumer demands, you have to now ensure that uh, the product is available much faster into the market. That is from an idea to the availability of the product in the market has to be much faster. So time to market becomes a very important aspect. Coming to flexibility, Today, customers, consumers are looking for individualized products, but they would want to pay only the price of a mass-produced good. So what it needs to do is it has to be created, uh, a pressure has to be created more on the flexible manufacturing needs. And that is why individual or mass customization is the required from the manufacturing industry. And this is what needs to be addressed. The third is on the quality aspect. We all know how important quality is. And today, if you go online to buy a product, you tend to also look at the quality ratings of the product which you want to buy. And if the quality rating is poor, you tend to buy a different product. So quality becomes very important, and it gets punished very much faster today. But of course, you get the rewards also much faster if you have a good quality product available in the market. And specifically, if you look at the pharma industry, uh, a manufacturing enterprise has to ensure that it supports tracking and tracing, genealogy, and also adhering to the legal requirements to be followed. So this is one of the key aspects which are address challenges which are also available to be, which has to be catered to by the manufacturing industry. Efficiency. Today, only the, today efficiency is not confined only to the products which you manufacture and which has to be sustainable and fr friendly, environment friendly, but you also the production resources which you use for manufacturing. 
they need to be also very sustainable. Like you have to ensure that the energy consumption is very much optimized, the CO2 footprint is reduced. So all these are also something which you have to take care and that is why efficiency plays a very important role. Another important aspect is the manufacturing enterprises have to be now ready for new business models. We have already talked about the impact of digitalization. So due to getting data onto your cloud and data collection, all these will also ensure or and, and will also lead to manufacturers having to be ready to adopt new business models. So this is one of the challenges which need to be addressed by them if they want to be very much competitive in the coming years. And of course, uh, security, one cannot forget security. You have to ensure that your IP or your prote IP is protected, whatever you manufacture, and for that security plays a very important role. So these are some of the key challenges which uh, we have put as most of the challenges which a manufacturing industry today faces. Now let us see how we address these challenges. We at Siemens uh, clearly say that if you want to address these challenges, you need to become a digital enterprise. And uh, when we say you need to become a digital enterprise, we strongly believe that only an integrated holistic approach, weaving the complete digital thread throughout the complete value chain is the key to success. Now this is something which we strongly believe in and we'll, I'll come further later of how we are doing it in our factories also. So what I've shown here is that a typical manufacturing process has five distinct stages in a, in a discrete industry at least. It, whether it's an end user or a machine builder, it would be a product design, production planning, engineering, execution and services. So what Siemens says is that if you want to get the complete benefit of digitalization, you have to integrate and digitalize the whole value chain. And of course, it also means that one of the advantage of this philosophy of what we talk about integrated approach, you can use this digitalization concept not, end, not necessarily end to end. It can be done in stages. You can also do it if you, whether you are a man of end user or an OEM or a machine builder, you can also do it in one step of your overall process to start with, wherever you can get the benefit at the first stage. But you need to have a complete digital transformation strategy in place. That is very essential if you have to look forward for the next four or five years. And then based on that strategy, you can do it in stages. I mean, we have seen many examples and we, our own factories are doing that. We first started with one section of the production engineering phase, which was giving us a better ROI there. So we went with that and then we spread it further to the design side and also to the services side. So this is how one does it. Also, it could be applicable or it is applicable to not only a new or a greenfield project, but also a brownfield or an existing plant which is available because most of the Indian customers here or the marketplace will be flooded with brownfield installations. So this digital enterprise approach is also suitable for them and that would be one of the big uh, advantages of using such an approach. So let us go a little bit further on to what uh, I talk about from the digital enterprise perspective. We talk about once the value chain is digital, integrated and digitalized, you get a perfect digital copy of your whole process. And this is what we call the digital twin. Already the previous speaker also talked about digital twin. Now this is a very important aspect what we feel in, uh, feel about. Digital twin is very much required and that will give you sustainable improvements on a regular basis. What we say is you need to have a digital twin of a product, of the production and of your performance which is basically your execution. And all these have to be interlinked on a common integrated database where we, are, we have our team center, which is a database uh, model which we available from us. But the important part here is creating the virtual, virtual twin or a digital twin of a product and production line. And that is very important. Now what do you do there? When you have to design a product and simulate it, and also you can put physical behavior, you can also simulate the physical behavior of it because we have very strong software tools today available in the market. Siemens has been acquiring systematically over the past 10, 15 years some software companies and integrating onto the whole common database. So we have such software tools available where you can simulate the whole product and you don't have to really invest in your resources at that instead of some. Once you have done all the what-if conditions, satisfied with that, then you can actually roll it out onto your actual design of the product or execution or making of the product. So this is a big advantage. You are able to reduce your prototype time tremendously. 
And we have examples to show even in the automotive industry mm -hmm. and in the machine builder industry also who have been able to get some benefits out of this. So once you have a digital twin of the product, you are able to reduce your overall time to introduce the product much faster. Now, this is also possible for your production line. So if you want to simulate the flow of material of a production line, you can do so. There are strong software tools available from Siemens. You can also do manpower, uh, the, the, the manpower movement or the movement of the hands and of the resources of the people on the shop floor can also be simulated and you can have the most optimum one there. So all these possibilities exist. Again, that leads to the creation of a digital twin of a production line. And that is a big advantage once you have that to have the whole digital process available for the complete value chain. And this becomes a big differentiating factor here. One important aspect here is we talk about connecting all these five stages which I showed in the previous steps to an IoT system also. And this is why we say that you can connect all five stages, any one stage depending on your requirement. The aim is to, once you start collecting data, we have, a, we have MindSphere which is our cloud-based open IoT operating system. So all this data from the five stages can be brought onto your cloud. You can get this data, you can do your analytics, and the insights which you get, you can feed it back into your production develop, product, product development as well as the production process. So this way, this is the framework which gives you a closed loop control, complete closed loop system, and this will ensure continuous availability or op optimization of your processes on a regular basis. So this is what is the whole theme, and this is what we uh, project and portray and also push in the market wherever our customers are going towards digitalization. So all in all, we have made a complete portfolio, uh, say a complete combination of various products which are available, and we call it the digital enterprise suit. This is a combination of our software, which is available from our PL division of Siemens, as well as our automation. And they cover the, all these five stages we talked about. So this is just an easy way to do it. Digital enterprise suit is what we say is the answer for you to move towards digitalization, specifically for the manufacturing enterprises. And here, now let me take you through some more in-depth information on the MindSphere aspect of the whole process, the cloud-based open IoT operating system. We are all, uh, our previous speakers also talked about it. IoT is anyway gaining a lot of uh, importance and acceptance actually into the market. If you look at some of the studies uh, which we also follow, 451 Research is a research institute, mm -hmm. they are very clearly done some studies and they've come up with uh, data which shows that enterprises have started deploying IoT, IoT and mainly they, you see that is in the areas of optimizing operation and reducing risk, So there, which is more internal oriented, but optimizing the processes in a better way. So this is where actually the industry has already started using it. That's what we see it happening. Again, one of the important aspects of collecting this data and bringing it onto IoT, then having a lot of analytics done, it is also to improve the actual design of your product. And that is also one of the areas where many companies have started moving towards. And of course, increasing sales is also one of the key aspects of why people are moving towards uh, this IoT-based system. So let me take a little bit further on to what MindSphere specifically, which is our uh, open cloud-based open IoT platform which we offer. Basically, any cloud-based system would offer three basic elements or need to offer three basic elements. One is the connectivity. You have to have, now if you look at your shop floor, you will have flooded with assets which are of different makes and different sizes and different intelligence levels. So what you need to do is first have an ease of connectivity of your assets. Now this becomes a very operational topic because many times when, a, when one of the customer decides to go for digitalization, he first wants to connect his assets onto an operating, onto a cloud to start collecting data and then do some analytics. And this is where we offer Mind Connect. We have a set of gateways available. We also give OPC connectivity. So this way you are giving open standards connectivity so that the ease of connecting your asset is very much there. With improvement of this, we have also now started giving you software, uh, software function blocks available, especially for Siemens products, where you don't even need a gateway like this. You can directly connect your asset onto our cloud by just using this corresponding function blocks. So these are the advantages and the trends in which uh, the market is moving towards. 
The second aspect of it is, of course, the platform. MindSphere is basically platform as a service. We don't ourselves go into infrastructure as a service, and there we use uh, Amazon as one of the infrastructure providers, or even SAP, and in six months' time, we will also have Microsoft Azure available. So we will not invest on the infrastructure as a service, but we will use their infrastructure and make our own platform, which is MindSphere, and on that, you will have the apps. Now, our strong belief here is, and also as told by many speakers previously, the value uh, to the customer comes from the apps. Because this is where he will see the benefit of it. And this also needs a lot of domain knowledge. So you will have to ensure, and, the, and also th that is where the development of apps have to be more in an open environment. We offer MindSphere as an open ecosystem. The reason for that is that is partners, whether they are IT partners or our own automation partners, or even connectivity partners, all of them can join this ecosystem easily and develop apps for their own customers. And they only use the platform, which is uh, MindSphere. So that is the big open ecosystem which we follow, and which also helps us in getting the reach of uh, or acceptance of uh, IoT into the market in a much bigger way. Some of the key applications which we have been using MindSphere for, and this is also applicable to most of the IoT players, Condition monitoring of any asset. You don't have to go for the complete line only. You can take one of your critical assets and you want to ensure that condition monitoring of that has to be state of art and also kind of predictive there. You can do that. Operational transparency, one of the key aspects which you can get through connection to a cloud-based system. Predictive maintenance, we already saw previous speakers speaking about it. So you get a good amount of data collection will ensure that based on the analytics, you can also get into predictive part of the behavior. So you can predict the failure of a particular equipment of the process and then take corrective actions accordingly. Performance intelligence. Now we have seen customers, uh, especially end users, who have got say 10, 15, or 20 different manufacturing sites all over the country. Now they are looking for a system which is what is linked to performance intelligence where they want to collect all the KPIs of all their plants and compare one plant with the other so that they know what is the best operating plant and then the findings of that can also be implemented in the next plant or then the subsequent plants. So this is a big advantage and uh, here a cloud-based system plays a very important role. And of course the digital twin which I already spoke about, the closed loop control of any digital enterprise or a solution which we offer is through cloud because it collects data, analyzes it, and then the insights you can feed it back into your product design and production process. As I was talking about MindSphere being an open ecosystem, so this is what we are basically looking at, and we already have a lot of partners onboarded. I mean, you see Accenture, Infosys, TCS, HCL, all are already part of the MindSphere ecosystem. They're all either gold, we have a methodology in place, silver, gold, platinum partners. So most of the big ones are all platinum partners and uh, they are using our platform, developing the apps which are their value proposition or their value addition and going into the market in a much aggressive way. So mm. this is what is in place already and it is working quite, uh, uh, mm. quite fine. Bentley, which is also one of the speakers mm. here. Uh, just a minute. Bentley, which is also one of the speakers here, they are also using MindSphere in a big way, and they will also be covering it as part of the process industry system, though I am doing more on the discrete side. So you see, the ecosystem, being MindSphere, being an open ecosystem has helped us to gain uh, traction in a much bigger way. It has helped to reach market more aggressively, and this has been a big benefit to the customers whom we address. Some two applications, I've got five minutes, so two applications which I wanted to highlight was the switchgear factory of Siemens, which is already something which uh, many of you would have already seen. This is very similar to one of the slides shown of the Ambeg factory of Siemens, which is totally digitalized and using the digital enterprise suit. Here we have also done it in India in Kalwa. See the advantages of what you got, or what the factory got pre before the digitalization and after it. They were covering 77 different products. This is the contactors which we make. And today they can cover 180 products on the same line. They were also having more number of checks which they can do, quality parameters. One of the important aspects of this is also, previously the product was only for the Indian market, but now with this digitalization and having such an important elaborate way of manufacturing, with all these benefits we have been able to also 
now use this, sell this product in the global market of Siemens all over the world. So this has been a big advantage here. What we did here is whatever I talked about, the digital enterprise suit is completely implemented here. We have the PLM, the product design part, which is covered through software tools for simulation. So we created here the virtual product, the virtual production line, and also the MES MOM for performance. And all of them we have integrated to Mindsphere. So it's a working model which we have, whatever concepts we have talked about, you've actually implemented on our factory in India also. One of the big advantage of this is, well, of course, the benefits which we already see here. This has also been a typical example of a brownfield installation. This plant was existing, so we have modified this plant suitably to get all these benefits, something which many of our customers can correlate with, because you will not necessarily have a green field only to start with for digitalization. You will have to go for brownfield also and give solutions there. Another example which is specific to Mindsphere is uh, the OEM market. I mean, we see a lot of interest of a cloud-based or a Mindsphere applications or the value to many process OEMs and also machine builders. Here, Printing International is one OEM who has a lot of presence in India also. They are into the pharma space and uh, they are actually printing, uh, they are making tablets and also printing on those tablets. Uh, that is one of their key KPIs. And here what they have done is they sell all their machines throughout the world. So they have, they wanted to know that after they sell their equipment or their asset to their end users, they wanted to have a better way of data transparency first of how their machine is working. Today it was, before this it was more reactive support of the post service support, whatever. If you get a call, you would send someone to rectify it or take action against it. Now, with each of the machine which they supply into the market, they have connectivity to Mindsphere. They collect data on a regular basis. Based on that, they are able to now, the data collection, they can also see, uh, take good inputs out of this and improve the design of their equipment. They have been able to see which are the weak links in the performance of their equipment. And this is especially true when you send your equipment, which is manufactured maybe in, in Europe, and you have to send it or sell it in India, then the, the factors or the, the conditions of Indian as a country become very different. So you can customize it to the Indian conditions and accordingly change your design based on this data which you have. So this has been a big benefit to them to get these insights and do that. One other advantage has been that they have been able to reduce or monetize their services much more effectively. So these are the key advantages which they have seen. And uh, because of this, uh, they have been going for Mindsphere, and we see many such OEMs also opening up now to get into the IoT space. And uh, that's what uh, is a big advantage here. So all in all, I would like to say that uh, any company, whether it's an OEM or whether it's an end user, if you want to get into the digital transformation journey, what you need is an approach first of a digital strategy, and you need a digital enterprise suit as the measure, as the basis of doing it, and then you can ensure that you are totally on the properly on the road of digital transformation. So that's all from my side. Thanks a lot.